It was a school shooting described today as, quote, entirely preventable. That's what the lawyer for Newport News teacher Abby Zwerner is saying about that shooting at Richneck Elementary. Yeah, Zwerner was shot in the chest, also went through her hand when she was in the classroom. Police say one of her first grade students pulled the trigger. News 3 reporter Angela Bohan was at today's news conference and has more. Students and staff are preparing to return to the classroom after weeks away. Meanwhile, teacher Abby Zwerner is getting stronger day by day, according to her attorney. But she says the psychological scars will remain after enduring the unthinkable and the preventable here at Richneck Elementary School. This tragedy was entirely preventable if the school administrators responsible for school safety had done their part and taken action when they had knowledge of imminent danger. Abby Zwerner's attorney, Diane Toscano, announced they intend to file a lawsuit against Newport News school administrators. She revealed specific behaviors that she claims administrators ignored. Based on the legal team's investigation, Toscano says at about 1115 that morning, Abby Zwerner told administrators that the six-year-old had threatened to beat up another student. A little more than an hour later, the attorney says a different teacher reported that she searched the boy's backpack and believed he actually had a gun in his pocket before going to recess. Approximately a half hour after that, she said a third teacher got involved, reporting that a student told her he saw his classmate with a gun and the boy even threatened to shoot him if he told anybody. Did administrators call the police? No. Did administrators lock down the school? No. She added that a fourth employee asked administrators for permission to search the boy, but was denied. He was told to wait the situation out because the school day was almost over. Let that sink in. The information that was put out today is very alarming and very damaging. Mark Anthony Garcia's son was in the building when the first grader shot Zwerner. He heard everything. Garcia says he's willing to pitch in and help where needed and that his son is, quote, an eager beaver and is excited to get back to school next week. They haven't even got a chance to really tell everybody what they got for Christmas yet. This is a really difficult situation. And we reached out to the Newport News School District to see if they wanted to comment about this pending lawsuit, but they said because of the investigation, they can't say anything at this time. We do know school is expected to return next week. In Newport News, Angela Bohan, News 3.